Well, good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. We are blessed to be with you. Uh, we want to invite you to the service tonight. Amen. Uh, at uh, seven o'clock. And uh, we uh, do a little bit of recap on what we've taught on when, on Sunday mornings. And then we divide up into groups, have some great times of discussion. And so um, it just come and be a part of that. So seven Amen. Those groups are good. The reason yeah. they're so good is because you find as you're discussing the word and the things, you find out what you believe. And, you know, and your testimony might help someone else that's in that group. God uses each one of these people in these groups to minister to one another. Yes, and it it's is. real important that you come. Come and be, be a, a minister, but come and be ministered too. You know, Marcia, also, Wednesday, let me just say this real quick, is one thing that I always enjoy are the testimonies. That's right. How, how many times do we always, we have prayers, we have prayers, we have prayers, but we never really hear any answers to That's the right. prayers, you know, from the people that we prayed for. Wasn't it so good to have Bishop with us mm -hmm. uh, this past week, uh, you know, two, two weeks, weeks ago, okay. and uh, when and we had prayed for him once and we had been ill in Nigeria and prayed for him, and then we saw him, he's here, he said, listen, I watched great. it, I saw you I felt your prayers, you know. I to me that's just that's worth more than you can ever find. Well, today we want to talk about something that's real important, I believe in our in our daily lives and that's called a balanced schedule. And uh so many times uh you know, and there are many important things in our lives, you know, our family, our jobs, you know, our spiritual life, our church, all those things. But we have to find a balance. We have to find a rhythm in life, I think. There's a scripture in Proverbs 16, verses 1 through 3, and it says this, The plans of the heart belong to the man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of man are clean in his own sight, but the Lord weighs his motives. Commit your works to the Lord, and your plans will be established. And so there are, I'm going to have Pastor Marcia share these with you. There are five areas uh, I believe that uh, we have to keep in balance in our in our lives. Amen. Number one, it's our top priority should be spending time with the Lord each day. Whether it be a time you set aside, you you know your schedule. So you know what you need to do. If that means get up earlier or stay up late. Some people are, are night people and they'd rather do their studying at night. Yes, absolutely. And it doesn't matter. And the studying is not... A legalistic thing like I have to be there for an hour yeah. or it's not going to be good it's whatever God puts on your heart at that time your time of study your time with him because you can fellowship with the Lord throughout the day yeah. but uh, it but we're talking about a time where you set aside where God can reveal himself through yeah. his word and through prayer Amen. Amen. all right number two there is relationships are essential to God's plans for us and this really speaks about our family and, you know, uh, we have to make time for our family. <clears throat> our families are, are pretty incredible things, you know. And, and sometimes we think they're just there. They'll always be there. But we have to spend the time with them and, and developing that relationship and the nurturing that goes along with that. Mm -hmm. And so I would believe, I, I believe so many times we get focused, even in ministry, we can be so focused on the ministry that we are not spending the time with right. our family. Well, we can get focused on things that are good, but that yeah, takes time. Not the best. Going. No, and uh, yeah. I was just at a women's retreat uh, last week, and it, we were discussing distractions. Things that, good things that can distract us and pull us away from the time that we should be feel, spending with our families or even with our friendships, people at church that yeah. are our friends uh, or people mm -hmm. at your neighbors. There's distractions when God tells you to go do something, but we say, oh, well, I got to do this first. And you find yourself not doing what you've been told to yeah. do. So Amen. relationships, remember relationships. People are the only thing that you can take to heaven yeah. with you. Absolutely. Number three. Number three, the area most likely to become imbalanced is our work. Ah, oh, man. If, if, you're, if you're still in the workforce, you know that there's always someone pulling on you at work. And, you can be, uh, and many times we take it home with us. Yeah. And then we, we uh, I know as a teacher, I used to spend hours grading papers. And then it would call it be at, night. Mean, at night. At night. Yes, at night. I mean, in my private time, <laughs> on my weekends. Yeah. And uh, the same thing's true with your job. If you're not watchful of it, it will become imbalanced and you'll be spending too much time taking care of it. And I was reading a quote the other day. It says, don't spend so much time. Uh, I mean, you need to do your best at your job. I'm not saying that. But they were saying, 
to, but don't spend so much time because if they, if you left tomorrow, they'd have it filled the next yeah, day. That's right. And uh, that's what happens. We think we're so important, and we are important probably in our jobs. But then again, we can also uh, overdo it. Amen. Number four is take care of your body, allocating adequate time for rest, re, uh, recreation, and exercise. And to me, this is important about taking care of your body. You, you have authority in this world through Jesus Christ as long as you're in this body. Amen. Yeah. So we need to, you know, we need to take care of our bodies uh, as we should. Number, That's right. Number four, this number five. I mean five, excuse me, is... The scriptures urge meeting together regularly with other believers for worship. Take time to go to church. Amen. We need to be there, just like we were talking about the Wednesday night service. If you're, you're yeah, you need to be in, in church. Yeah. I mean, sure, you can get the word on the TV or you can get the word on uh, CDs and different things like that. Not the same. Not the same. It's the flesh. Um, the flesh needs to be in church. Amen, amen. That's it. I, I really like think that. That. <laughs> I like that. We did not heard that one. We before. had to bring our flesh to church <laughs> to get it up, put it under. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you. We love you. Keep your life in balance. Amen. In amen. balance. Amen. Bye bye.